What is going on guys, it's Trotsky Gardening here with a brand new video and today I'm going to be doing a review of all the plants that I have in my garden. Um, so I recently I just created the brand new channel and um, this is going to be the first video on it. Um, so if you're excited, make sure to like and subscribe, turn the notification bell on and keep commenting down below if you have any future video ideas that are stored in your head and you just want to dump them out. That includes gaming and gardening. Um, so link, uh, just comment them all down below, then if you're excited, just make sure to smash the like button and let's get straight in. So as you can see behind me, I've got the trampoline there and like the swimming pool there. Then I've got, I don't know if you can see it, no you can't, but I've got a football goal just over there and one over the, uh, behind me over there. I've also got the climbing frame. I've had that for years. I don't really use it now. Um, but behind me is like a desolate field of absolute nothing. Um, and if I just turn you around, the house is having some new like repairs on it, which is quite kind of cool. But um, so there you can you can see one of the goals there, that's six foot by twelve foot. But that's not the point. We're here to discuss plants. So I'll take you over to the first plant. So, so the garden is massive. Like, even though if you can call it a garden, it's more like a field. Because look at that, it's like an acre or something. Um, and that's just the garden. And I've got a tiny little one here. So first, I've got this Acer. I can't, Acer something, I can't remember. But um, I'll give you tips and tricks on how to look after your plants. But first, I'm just going to talk to you. So for aces like this, you need you need like a spray bottle, and you want to put some warm water, in it, warmish water in it, and some fairy liquid. Because what this does is, if you come in close, I don't know if you're going this close, um, but on this leaf here, there is probably about a thousand little bugs which you don't want on your plants because with aces it will kill them so what you want to do with this give it a good shake and you just want to spray it it's probably best not good to have electricals near it um so i just want to spray your it will happen on all new offshoots and what they do is they'll just eat it until it dies basically you just want to spray it all over Make sure that it's all covered or your acer will die. And you want to do this quite often just to make sure that it doesn't like. Because I obviously got this, this acer right now is probably worth 150 quid or a pound. Um, because it's like, I don't know, like 10 years old maybe. Maybe from off from like sapling. Um, and that will be going in the ground soon because you don't want to keep it in there for too long. That's just plant abuse. Um, so next, I'll take you nearish the greenhouse. Um, so you can just come on a little walk. Um, so here we have um, a cord line right there. Um, and it has got lots of like leaves that are just growing out and they are actually chinese lanterns um so they'll shoot they'll flower in like summer but basically they've got like they're like that the flowers and um they're, re they're bright red they look like chinese lanterns that's what they call chinese lanterns and here just behind it i've got some mint to try a bit of mint it's lovely i'll eat some um fresh and minty um so next we're going around the other side of the greenhouse so yeah it's quite big i've got about i don't know like 50 plants in here which i want to show you um so now we just put you down a bit i lift it up Right, so 
so here i don't really know the name of it i just call it triangle leaf plant but it's got like red and green flower red and green leaves that will uh that grow really quick and if if you want something to like cover like a vast area then use this the scientific name will be somewhere on screen now um so that yeah that one's cool we've not got much in here we've just got some like wildflowers bees ferns that i rescued like down there um little fir tree that i rescued by maybe in 10 years i'll have a christmas tree out of it um so in the greenhouse which i'll take you in now um it has there's a lot i've got about look, i've got loads of different plants in here to grow in that i've grown from seed um, so this thing that goes all the way around is a grapevine and it's seeded so not i'm not going to sell it because not many people like seeded grapes, but I can make grape juice and wine. I'm not an alcoholic, just to let you know. Um, so that goes all the way around there. Then, um, like here, you'll, you'll start to get mini grapes. Then we've just got, around here, we've just got some aloe vera, pepper, radish, rocket, loads of salad stuff. I like salad. Um, so that's the greenhouse for you. So if we go back outside, get onto the tropical, more tropical plants. Right, so greenhouse garden. We want to go to the, like, we've got like a septic tank, if you know what that is. I won't tell you, it's a bit gross. But basically, if we go, I'll give you a quick view of the garden. Tell me if you live here or not. Right, um, I'm sick of carrying this thing around me. Look, I'm literally carrying this around everywhere. Since the light ain't even on, I could probably unplug it. Um, so, just wrap it around and I can carry you guys with me. It's like one of them, uh, like, I forgot what it's called, like, dodgeball. Racquetball or something. Where you have to whack it around like a post. Guys, now I'm at the tropical section of the garden, and I just gave you a little view of our first plant, which is the Acer butterfly. Um. So yeah, um, I rescued it from being cute about a fortnight ago, and it was looking really dried up. But I put it in like I think it's twenty lit, thirty liter pot, full of good good compost. Um nutritional compost um which i created myself um and yeah it's looking really good now as you can see the new shoots are kind of redder than like the old shoots but next we have i think it's an ace of platinum not sure i have a name tag for this one but i rescued this one from tesco there's four three quid you can't go wrong um but yeah um this is like this is looking really healthy it was like it was just half the height when i originally got it from tesco um but the next one is another one of them triangle plants that i showed you earlier um let's do the other acer before we go on to anything else um so this one i think is another ace and butterfly i don't know if it's not um but it's got loads of new shoots on like right down at the bottom you can kind of see um that there is some um so yeah i got this one from tesco with the ace platinum for six quid all together can't go wrong um these are originally conifer things another 30 litre pot that's the ace is done but now middle of like the septic tank area 
we have our first palm tree. I don't know what this palm tree is called, but it's personally one of my favourites just because it's a little size and in you know, it takes like one to two years to fully establish. And it'll grow like, I don't know, like 10 centimetres a year with it growing rapidly. Um, so I got that one from the garden centre as well for six quid. Actually, no, it's Wilker. Six quid, you can't go wrong. Um, so next we have our aloe vera. Not You don't find many aloe veras in this country, but um, you can quite clearly see that it's got a lot loads of new offshoots, like around about here, here. There's a big one here. Um, but it's spiky, and if you rip a bit off, like that and tear it in half that stuff in there is like really good for your skin i think it, if you just rub some on it's really good it's not it's like a sunblock so i'd suggest that putting on it good for your face um so next we have my favorite plant of them all it's the tree fern so I got this for 40 quid from our local um, like garden centre, just which is just up the road. And the reason that it's my favourite is just because it's like probably when you say when someone says tropical, it's probably one of the first plants that pops into your head like after bamboo. Uh, so these coils in the middle. Um, our new shoots, there's a big one here, and there's like four little, four other ones, five other ones in the middle that are just growing. And in like autumn, you dead ones like this, I need to cut them off. I'll probably wait until autumn though, because I cut one off like in there, somewhere in there. I can't really s s s there. Right there and it, I made it bleed with sap so that could potentially kill it but I've been I've been lucky enough not to kill mine um so that's the tree fern next we've got another palm tree which is the biggest one that I own um I've had this one about five years four years something um and it's one of my favourites, just purely because the scale of it um, and like the shape of it, like almost like a round circle, 180 degrees, like circle. Like you can't go wrong. I think it was like 30 quid. I got it from the local garden centre along with the tree fern. So in one day, I spent 70 quid on two plants, but they're good plants, so I don't mind. Next, we have uh, a cold line Charlie, I think. This died and actually came back in the next year. Um, so these are hard plants, but it's got a lot of water in it at the moment. It should probably drown it. Um, so next one, we've got another... Uh, formium. It's got, it's got. Oh, I forgot what it's called, but they're them beetles are really rare. Let me just get it on my hand. Them, oh, it's gone. It flew away, but um, them beetles are really rare and an endangered species. So if you see like a greeny blue beetle, don't squish it. Save it. Um. So this one's just a massive plant and it's really good for you, like, your, if you want to fill up more space in your garden, just get one of them, like, 20 quid. And speaking of big plants, I'm not going to tell you where it is, but I've got a project going on at the moment. Um, but it's another cord line, no formium. And I planted this one here yesterday. Um, and it's, it's got... It's massive. Just look at the size of that compared to me. It's like up 
it's above my waist, like my waist there. And if I put you up a bit more so you can see, like it goes up up here. Um, that's probably one of the biggest plants I own. It's not just me that owns them all. I didn't buy all these. Some of them were with the house, and this one, the one over there near the door, there. Um, that was about 50 quid, so if you wanted to know. Um, then here, we've got, and this is my, one of my, probably one of my second favourite plant, Ace of Platinum. Uh, so, same with the other one, it, you need to spray it often, and if a shoot's looking like dead, make sure to, um, cut it off, or, so that it provides more nutrients to the other part of the plants that are living. Um, so, yeah, this is favourite plant. Just make sure to keep water in it. Like, I've not cut a bit off the top here. Like, this shouldn't come off, really, because there's no growth on it. Um, and final plant. I'm not showing you all of them, just because it take up too much time. This third favourite plant, easily. The castor oil. Um... So I want to cut some more of these off, but these are very hard plants and very quick growing. It was like half the size when I got it originally, and it's this must be worth at least 150 quid to 200 quid now. Um, so it was 50 quid when we got it, 200 quid now. Three years, made 150 quid. That's pretty good going. Um, so in the gar in the greenhouse. Um, the plants that I grow, I go to a car boot sale, like where I got my GoPro from, so that I can film underwater shots. I got it for fiver. So if you want some cheap bargains, go there, get some, um, even offer plants, which I'll do with some of mine because I've got well too much going on the grow right now. Um, but next video on the channel will be the uh, tropical something. Um, which is basically where all the plants that I've just showed you are going to go. Um, so if I just put you here, I'll do my outro. So, guys, that is it for today's video. So make sure to like and subscribe, turn the notification bell on, and keep coming down below any future videos that you may have. Without further ado, I'll see you for the Tropical Something Reveal.